Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Skeleton King 56 I'm back here with a 1.16.5 Oz Novu tutorial. I was going to say Oz Magica like I always do, yeah? But like, this is different. This is Oz Novu. So basically, first things first, make this a novice spellbook. You can also make this a major spellbook, but for purposes, we'll just stick with the majors. Pretend like you don't have a magic skill requirement like Project MMR. And first thing you want to do is go find these source gem ores, right? They'll give you source gems which you can use to make these arcane stones, which are very important for more, more or less most of the important blocks and items in this mod pack. First thing you want to make is a crystallizer. They will create source gems for you naturally, and you just right click and like get them as they get made. You want next you want to make a glyph press with more arcane stones. If you've got just enough items as a mod, you can um, you can just search the recipes. Next you want to make a scribes table. You can use those to like inscribe spells with spell parchment onto weapons. Like you put the you put the weapon or whatever, bow, sword in here, then you right click it with the spell parchment and you'll be fine. From there you have these, right? You got mage bloom seeds. You need to make these, you need this. You need an arcane core. You need to put it down on the floor, and then above that, you need to you need one enchanting apparatus and eight arcane pedestals. This acts as like your three by three crafting table for Ars Novu, right? It's a bit special. So first, you put the arcane folk, arcane core down at the bottom, and then you've got the enchanting apparatus right on top of it, which you can see there, yeah. And then around that, you have the eight arcane pedestals. So you've got three by three base. From there, you put each item as it shows in the one notebook, which is also the guide. Like, such as, well, let's go, enchanting feather falling. You're like this. So you put the item that you want to enchant in the direct center after putting these items in the correct space within the 3x3 crafting table. From there, from there, you want to go back, get the Mage Bloom Seed. You can make it out of um, any seed and, I think, source gems. I'm not too sure. And then you get these, ma and then they'll grow into mage blooms. You want to harvest those continuously, and you can turn them into mage bloom fiber, which will give you your very first set of Ars Novu armor. I think it's around iron level or something like that. The next tier up is the blaze fibers. The hell? The next tier up is the blaze fibers, right? And then the final tier is the end. The blaze fibers are probably the easiest achievable thing if you if you're running a mod pack with this mod. And it, it gives you quite a bit of defense, so it's really good. They all effectively give you more mana regen and just mana in general to cast your spells. F after all this, right, as you travel the world, you'll find these saplings in their tree form, obviously. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, yeah? So basically, ignore how this looks. So you've got the vec you've got the flourishing archwood trees, which are the green ones. You've got the cascading archwood trees, which are the blue ones the vexing ones which are the purple ones and the most important one the blazing arch would love the trees the red ones or goldish red how however you, however you want to say it that one's the most important because they all do the same thing but that one gives you the most in uh, in regards to this a uh, volcanic source link it is by far the most cost effective one all you have to do is basically just make a tree farm yeah and it'd be fine just get your tree farm throw like throw throw this there and it'll make sauce out of it right it'll like do do some magic shit and just to show you that it works with the mod and just general wooden yeah just general wood it works and obviously this already falls creative source jar. otherwise it would like send sauce to this jar just like an empty sauce jar it's called and it will fill up and then after i think it's a f um, a free block radius where it can fill it up. After that, you can use source in those source jars for different things, such as the enchanting apparatus, right? You need source to work this. Your armor doesn't run off it, it just runs off your mana bar, which if you have, a, if you're holding a spell book, you can see it on the bottom left. After that, you have ritual braziers, right? You can make a lot of different rituals with this thing. Just search at Oz ritual and you'll be fine. The Wilden Tribute item is gotten from the Wilden Boss Summon. 
right? Tablet of someone wielding. It's a bit, it's a bit weird. You'll have to look into the war notebook for that, how it works properly. But be careful. It's very strong, and it's got like four or five phases. Finally, right, the most important stuff. This is a lesser ring of discount. This is a greater ring of discount. This one will lower the cost of your spells by about 10%, I think. The greater discount ring reduces it by about 20%. And honestly, it's amazing. It's just 20% off everything, bro. And later on, when you get like different tiers of spells, you can, you can do everything that you ever need, bro. You'll be fine. And then, after that, comes the Amulet of Mana Boost, which as the name implies increases the amount of mana you have in general which again if you have a stronger spell it will let you cast it if you obviously have enough mana you can also get the enchantment as well mana what we got we got mana region three and mana boost three is the highest of each of them and then you have the mm, amulet of mana region which just generates your mana faster as you go you, you have passive generation but it just boosts it same with these the armors they give you a higher mana regeneration and then at the end right the glyph press is what allows you to gain more like different types of spells like if we type if you type glyph in um the most common one that you'll want when you start is break which is just magic clay and an iron pickaxe magic clay is just the item and then the item that's used to make glyphs you have magic clay which is the base thing right you need source gems for it you can use magic clay to make marvelous clay which is probably the tier 2 version i'd say of the ars novu clay which lets you make more and uh, more glyphs and higher tier glyphs and then again it goes to mythical clay which again gives you the final tier of glyphs in this mod and as for spells right that's basically it, but as for spells, let me show you. After you unlock everything in the mod, in the mod, in terms of glyphs, your book will look like this, right? To make a spell, you first need a form. For for this example, I've chosen projectile, then I've chosen break, just so I can show you how sick this mod is, right? Then amplify. Um, all tiers of amplify can break obsidian, so they're all diamond level, like pickaxe right and then aoe just to increase the radius of the blast and let me show you this oops you got to click create so you select it unless you have the key bind where it gives you a wheel and you can just shoot it once and bro that's an eight by eight simple you could just dig straight down to bedrock like this bro oh well then anyway thanks for watching <laughs>